Hi guys, my name is Aaron. I thought I'd do a video this morning of how to install RealVNC server on a Arch Linux based system, um, specifically an ARM64 bit Arch Linux system. Um, I have a Raspberry Pi, as you can see here. It's the 8 gig version. It's running Manjaro XFCE 64 bit version. Very good out of the box system. Any of the Manjaro ARM distros work out of the box quite well. Um, I ported the AUR package, this is the AUR package in Arch for real VNC server and as you can see if you look at the package view, sorry the package build, here's all the sources however there is no official 64-bit version for ARM from real VNC um, it does not work anyway if you try to build this on an ARM 64-bit arch. There's some modifications which are needed um, for it to work. So I've forked that and edited the package build to download the 64-bit version which Raspberry Pi OS has made for their system. And this comes from the Raspberry Pi OS package pool there as you can see. I've had to update the version number. I've, I've specifically done this for Arch 64 only. I'm not doing a 32-bit version. Um, obviously the checksum need to be updated. Apart from that, the rest of the package build file remains the same. The other change which needs to be made for this to work is some symbolic linking, which I will show you here. These files here are placed in your distro in various places depending on what you're using, whether it's Manjaro or a vanilla arch that's slightly different in each one. In Manjaro's case, we need to link these libraries here into user lib so real VNC knows where they are. And that's the main reason why the AUR package doesn't work at this stage. Now this build I've got here is specifically for Manjaro. I'll be doing another one for a vanilla Arch install um, and also I'll do another one for installing it on Debian 64-bit or Ubuntu 64-bit ARM as well. But we're going to specifically concentrate on Manjaro ARM 64-bit. You need to have your desktop installed. It can be XFCE, KDE, LXQD, whatever you wish to install, but make sure it's installed before you do this installation. So I'm going to run through it. Uh, you've got two ways of doing it. I've already created a package uh, where you can download and just install it using pacman-u. Um, but I'm going to compile it manually so you can see what actually happens. So we're going to git clone it. Now before we continue, the first thing you have to do on any install to get this to run is to run the base dev package. Make sure that's installed. Default installations of Manjaro only have some of the base dev packages installed by default. So let's go and pull that in now. Oops, sudo, don't forget sudo guys. And it will go and pull, some will be reinstalled but others they're like fake root for instance. Um, which isn't installed by default on a default installation of Manjaro Arch Linux with ARM needs to be pulled and downloaded. So always do a base debal install before you run and try and build these packages. It'll save you a lot of heartache down the track. So we'll wait till that comes down. The Manjaro ARM distros are quite good out of the box. Most things will work on a Raspberry Pi. Um, if you're looking for a headless system, um, Ubuntu Server works quite well. I found that Fedora Server ARM works very well as like smooth and everything expected to run fine. So I've got two Raspberry Pis at the moment. I've just been experimenting with them, and I was running No Machine to do the remote access in, and no machine runs fine, it's a bit slow, but I prefer a real VNC. Um, 
to do the remote admin and remote access to the Raspberry Pis, especially in a headless state. So this is nearly done. So I have to install the base DVL. I'm going to git clone the package I've made on my git. And uh, install it. Even though Manjaro is built on Arch Linux, if you try and compose this on a vanilla Arch install, it won't work because those symbolic linking of those library files is in a different place on a vanilla Arch install compared to Manjaro. So this is one specifically naming this a Manjaro only install. Um, whereas if you want to get real VNC server working on a vanilla Arch install, the package build will need to be changed slightly. And I'll do another one of those and add it to this. I'll do another video on it as well later. Um, getting vanilla Arch to work on a Raspberry Pi is a bit more involved because you've got to do most of the manual setup um, for the firmware and the config.txt file etc to get it working so a bit more involved but it's well worth it because I prefer Arch over Debian or well, especially Ubuntu but um, the Raspberry Pi OS system is very good um, lots of configuration options and working out of the box as well, but the software repository of Debian is always lacking in terms of versions and they're always well behind the official releases for packages. So that's why you prefer Arch or even Fedora for that matter. Um, has much better, much more updated package versions than Debian does. But that's Debian's philosophy, uh, philosophy though. Debian is an inherently stable system. Right. Just installed base DVL. So now we're going to git clone so we will copy if I can get all that copy It's downloaded, so we'll see into it. So here's our files we've downloaded. So now we need to make the package. So make pkg that's just i. Make sure you run this as user, not as root. You can't make a package in root for obvious reasons. You will now download, as you can see, it's downloading the source file, false Debian file. Now it's going into a fake root. To install. Real VNC server works quite well on the Raspberry Pi, 64-bit um, version of it. Um, most, if not all, the functionality you get from the 32-bit version is, is there and is usable, so it's quite quick as well comparing it to like no machine. So put your password in. Now let's go into the installation part. You'll see these errors here where it can't find link library but they do get added after this script runs so you can ignore them. And that's done. So this is also a pre-activated. You don't need a key with the Raspberry Pi Real VNC server package, which is a bonus as well. However, it will only work on a Raspberry Pi. If you're trying this on a non-Raspberry Pi system, you know, it'll probably ask you for it to put a key and a license key in. Now we need to enable the service so let's copy this to 
and make it quick so I don't have to type it in. And we got to start it. And we'll check the status to make sure it's started. Which it has. So now let's see if we can get access to it. So that's the IP address of the Raspberry Pi box. We go continue. We put the username and password in. Oops, I did it to the Voila! A working 64 bit version of Real VNC server. Um, and as you can see, the Real VNC Raspberry Pi edition is already pre activated, so you have to put a key in. And there we go. So you can log in and do what you wish with it. We right click on that and go to options. Just put your password in. Here's all the options. As you can see, all the options there is normal version. So that, there it is, guys. A working real VNC version. 64 bit for ARM on Manjaro. Bear in mind, this will only work on Manjaro. I'll be doing another video for a vanilla Arch Linux install, and then uh, one for a Debian 64 bit, and another one for a Ubuntu 64 bit version. So feel free to clone this package and download the binder if you wish. And yeah, experiment on the Raspberry Pis. I love the Raspberry Pis, they're fantastic. Excellent. So yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.